whole country's trying to kill me every day. It's a conversation that doesn't necessarily happen all the time. It's a conversation that you wouldn't necessarily expect to happen between a, a young black male and a white female, just regularly. It just literally goes to show that we need to discuss things, you know? Like, the, the more we actually try to talk things out, the, the more we understand and, and the more we... Respect and appreciate yeah, other people's opinions. Exactly, and exactly. I think in that scene, both Aubrey and I are very passionate about that specific scene only because we are both speaking from, you know, spaces of what it's like to have white privilege and what it's like to not. And I think it is a conversation that needs to be had and that it's it's been so hidden for so long or people are not wanting to talk about it in a way that it needs to be talked about. And again, that goes with sugarcoating it or glamorizing something. You just, you can't do that to conversations like that or topics that are that heavy. We were both very invested in, in, in that specific scene and telling, you know, I mean, within that scene, there's so many honest little truths that we want the audience to take away. And I think they'll feel it. I think they'll see it. And um, I think it'll impact them and move them in the way that we intended it to. I've had to steal because- Because you can. You can walk into any room in this world and never be questioned. Try walking into a department store looking like me. There's a certain privilege that that even as a female, you, you don't necessarily have because that, that's why this show is so amazing because you have a, a young black male who is often dehumanized in society and then you have a, a female who is always minimized in, in society. So it's like these you know two groups of people that are often unheard and, and not represented in the forefront. And, and I feel like it, it just brings humanity to both groups.